We've all known stories about it. Um, Henry Ruggs and his behavior, no matter how much he's a gold star in terms of his background, dude, 156 miles an hour. He's obviously lucky he's not dead. And of course, he's alive. That's usually what happens with DUIs. He was twice over the legal limit. It's just a terrible, tragic story that leaves no good taste in your mouth. Eric Ballman, who's the district attorney, said the court today that Ruggs was not only traveling 156 miles an hour, um, but his blood alcohol levels, I point out, was twice the legal limit. Like, yikes. And then the Raiders released him. Now, I guess here's my question. The Raiders had no choice that at some point they had to release him. Did they need to release him last night? What do you think, Jay Stu? I, I, in, in, this, in this environment, they had to release him last night. Ten years ago, he, he is not released yet. That, that's my, my firm belief in this, that teams want to be on the right side of history so much that they kind of overcompensate now with their penalties, I think. Well, um, I'll say this. I, I think in any year he would have been released. My thing is, like, I don't like the we care about the person and then the person does something terrible does something terrible and we immediately cut him. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a little conflicted. Like, couldn't you have just waited a couple weeks and then, you know, it, it feels like grandstand. Like, look, he wasn't going to play for the Raiders anyway. You weren't going to keep him. And, and maybe the Raiders is just such bad PR, especially after the Gruden thing. We got to get rid of him. Yes. John Ramos. Do you think the Raiders should uh, maybe help, help him in some sort of like step, like some like is that what you're saying? They yes, should, he should, they should be. Hey, let's put you into some sort of like step program to help you with a problem that you have. And it, okay, so that's what you mean. But they still should release him eventually. They can't. He can't play for them anymore. But they can help he, him. He, he's not going to play football right. for for anybody at least for a couple of years. He's okay. going to go to jail. Uh, but yes, I mean, I think I I don't think it's the old hate the hate the sin, not the sinner. You know, and. I just, I don't know, like, buyer, am I crazy here that maybe this is one of those you, like, listen, we, we, his actions were deplorable and we're working towards a solution here. But in the meantime, like, we want to offer up all the help to the family and all the help to Henry Ruggs as well, because, you know, he's a young man and we believe in him. And, and whether or not he plays football like doesn't actually matter. What matters is the guy, the human being. I just, we do have a tendency. Like, he did something awful. In, and, and I understand that it pales in comparison to the actual family who lost a daughter. Lost maybe a sister or a friend, you know, or maybe a girlfriend. I, I, I understand that. But we should also be honest. Like, he's going to carry that burden the rest of his life. And is there, is this a time for, I don't know if the word is grace. Um, go ahead. Jeff. Yeah, go ahead. Well, Dan. no, I was, I was going to say, and I, and I just did a quick search. Do you remember um, when the Cowboys had Josh Brent, uh, they were, he was in an accident with a teammate, Jerry Brown. Sure. This is about nine or 10 years ago. And I'm is that, that long ago. Yeah. It was 2012. You know, Josh Brent, stayed on the team and i remember there was even some criticism because i think he was on the sidelines for a game so the cowboys made that decision where they decided you know they they stuck with him i think that the raiders found out about what we found out today i mean i i said yesterday doug you you asked me a question and i actually didn't even give the 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 answer to the question you asked me, I thought he would play in the NFL again. Now hearing this, and that was just immediate from what we had heard, but now hearing the 156 miles per hour, um, I, I, I think it hits different. I think that they probably heard that. I don't think it was maybe a, a, a huge coincidence that it came out 15 minutes after the World Series, um, but I just... Yeah, I think to to maybe Jason's point, they just didn't want to be associated with it. But we've seen in the past the team stick with a guy to to your point of saying of of trying to support him and and get him through this problem while still having you know extreme sympathy and empathy for the family that yeah lost I, I look it, loved one. It, it's a you you bring up a you bring up a series of great points. It's a really hard fine line to walk. 
right? How do you show? And I, I, I struggle with it in talking about his football future. I'm not trying to sound insensitive. Somebody lost a daughter. Somebody lost a friend, right? Just, she's just driving, you know, with her dog. Who knows? She's driving cross country. She's, you know, moving or if she's just going to work or what she's coming home from. I don't know what she's doing. doesn't matter. Like she just was killed in a car accident because the guy was drunk and going 156 miles an hour. And we've all been on the road late at night and some guy comes up and, and passes you going like 30 miles an hour faster than you. And we all say the same thing to anybody in the car. Idiot, right? Well, what about when that idiot hits you? But I do wonder if there's a time for empathy towards Henry Ruggs and just in that like, look, I mean, he, it, it's awful. He, that, it's never going away for him. And, you know, can you be sympathetic and empathetic towards, um, you know, <clears throat> sympathetic and empathetic towards, uh, towards the victim as well as Henry Ruggs and just is, is, was there a way, and obviously they're not going to, was there a way to go like, look, we're going to put him on the commissioner's example list. We're not going to play football, but we are invested in the human being, Henry Ruggs. And we just want to we want to help him because we think he's a good person who did a really bad thing. I, I think that's that. a real valid point, Doug. Yeah. That's a real valid point, and and I understand the conflict. Um, and I think my point is just like in this climate now with any corporation, sports and not our yes, our but, industry. But that's the problem. You're overreacting. That, that's the, I understand. You're going to overreact because there's and nothing wrong with overreacting. And, and I want to make sure this is clear. I don't know if they're overreacting. I do think there are cultures that overreact. I do think there are corporations that overreact. I, I understand. I don't know if they're overreacting. I'm asking the question, do we think they're overreacting? Only only in that, like, um, you, you know, or, or maybe this is, this is the real problem with corporate America is, is, not that, is not the Me Too movement or trying to hire... Uh, more people of, from diverse backgrounds, ages, sexes, races as well. Maybe that the, the real problem is like n- nobody has fortitude. You know, nobody stands up and goes, "No, no, no, he's my guy." And 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 maybe that's really what the Raiders want to do with John Gruden, which is like, "Look, I understand the emails that read really poorly, but I believe in John." Gr-. Like they won't show. I here's this is not a place where you can go like he should play, right? No, I'm not even suggesting that. I'm just suge- I'm just wondering if if there should if the Raiders as a corporation and I get they're dealing with all sorts of bad press. Should they have should they have said, hey, we get it, you know, it's terrible, and good people can do bad things, and he did something really dumb and really bad, and no. I don't know anybody who's driven 156 while drunk. I've gone too fast. I, I don't drink and drive. I'm not going to lie to you and say I've never been behind the wheel when I've had a drink. And I'd probably be equally honest and said there's probably been a couple times my college days where it was close. And then you, you get the lecture of like, what are you doing? So dumb. Now, I mean, again, this is 20 years later. Uber, Lyft. You know, he has the wherewithal to have some a driver, all these other things. But really, Uber and Lyft should have gotten him home that night. So there are no excuses. But I'm not going to sit here and be holier than thou that I've never done something that could have devolved into something really wrong. And with that in mind, was there a place for the Raiders to to show some solidarity behind the person, even if the actions lead to him not being able to play football?